Microsoft Excel 2010. Hi Rahul, can we add numbers in MS Excel? Yes, Priya. Can you tell me how to do it? Sure, Priya. This is very easy. Let me tell you in detail. In this module, you will learn about starting MS Excel, workbook and worksheet, entering data in Excel and saving a workbook. Microsoft Excel 2010 is a spreadsheet software specially designed to perform mathematical calculations. It is used to record and analyze numerical data. How to start MS Excel? To start MS Excel, follow the given instructions. Click on the Start button. Click on Microsoft Office. Click on Microsoft Excel 2010. On starting MS Excel, a blank sheet appears on the screen. By default, it is named Book 1. MS Excel Worksheet Quick Access Toolbar Ribbon Name Box Active Cell Formula Bar Column Heading Row Heading Work Area and Sheet Tabs Workbook and Worksheet when you start Excel, a file is opened which is called Workbook. A workbook comes with three worksheets known as Sheet Tabs. These are named as Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. They can be seen at the bottom left of the window. A worksheet is divided into rows and columns. Data is entered into the worksheet. Rows. Each row has a numerical heading ranging from 1 to 1,48,576. Columns. Each column has an alphabetical heading at the top. Each worksheet contains 16,384 columns. The first column has letters from A through Z, then AA through AZ and continuing up to XFD. Cell The point where a row and a column meet is called a cell. Each small rectangle in a worksheet is called a cell. Cell reference The address of a cell or cell reference can be written by combining the letter representing a column and the number representing a row. Formula bar A bar is given at the top of the worksheet below the ribbon. Two small buttons are present on the left of the formula bar. The cancel button can be used to cancel the data entry. The entry button works like an enter key. Cell pointer a highlighted cell boundary that indicates which cell is active at the moment is called a cell pointer. Entering data in Excel. You can enter number, text and formula in the cells of a worksheet. To do this, you need to follow the given steps. Click on the cell where you want to enter the data. Type your data in the cell. You can press the tab key to move to the next adjoining cell towards right and the enter key to move the cursor down by one cell. Saving a workbook. To save a workbook, follow the given steps. Go to the file tab and click on the save option. The Save As dialog box appears. Select the drive and the folder in the Save As list box where you want to save the workbook. Type the file name in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. The file will be saved with an extension 
dot xlsx or you can save the file by clicking on the save button present in the quick access toolbar or you can also use a shortcut key control plus s to save a file thank you rahul now i can add numbers in ms excel